Well, good evening everyone and welcome to the East Midlands Synod of the United Reformed Churches evening prayers for this Tuesday the 16th of July. Our opening praise. O God, make sa speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be glory and praise for ever. In the darkness of our sin, you have shone into our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Open our eyes to acknowledge your presence, that free from the misery of sin and shame, we may grow into your likeness from glory to glory. Blessed be God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. And our Tuesday evening psalm is the Psalm 121. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The Lord will not let your foot be moved. The one who watches over you will not fall asleep. Behold, the one who keeps watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. It is the Lord who watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand, so the sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall pres preserve you from all evil. The Lord shall keep you safe. The Lord shall watch over your going out and your coming in from this time forth and for evermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. So this evening then, our Old Testament reading comes um, from Joshua 2, 15 to 24. And uh, if you haven't been here every night, um, just to set this reading in its context, um, the spies have been sent out by um, into the Promised Land to to see what it's like and they've gone into Jericho and then they need to flee and Rahab, uh, the prostitute, uh, helps them to escape and we pick up the story as she does so. Then she let them down by a rope through the window for her house was on the outer side of the city wall and she resided within the wall itself. She said to them, go towards the hill country, for that the pursuers may not come upon you. Hide yourself there three days until the pursuers have returned. Then afterwards you may go on your way. The men said to her, we will be released from this oath that you have made us swear to you if we invade the land and you do not tie this crimson cord in the window through which you let us down and you do not gather into your house your father and mother, your brothers and all your family. If any of you go out of doors of your house into the street, they are responsible for their own death and we shall be innocent. But if... A hand is laid upon any who are in this house. We shall bear responsibility for their death. But if you tell this business of ours, then we shall be released from our oath that you made us swear to you. She said, according to your words, so let it be. And she sent them away and they departed. And then she tied a crimson cord into the window. They departed and went into the hill country and stayed there three days until the pursuers returned. The pursuers had searched all along the way and found nothing. 
Then the two men came down again from the hill country. They crossed over and came to Joshua, son of Nun, and told him all that had happened. Then they said to Joshua, Truly the Lord has given all the land into our hands. Moreover, all the inhabitants of the land melt in fear before us. And then we turn to our Gospel reading. And our Gospel reading tonight comes from Matthew 25, 14 to 30, where Jesus tells us one of his parables. For it is it, it is as if a man, going on a journey, summoned his slaves and entrusted his property to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. The one who had received the five talents went off at once and traded with them and made five talents more. In the same way, the one who had two talents made two more talents. But the one who had received the one talent went off and dug a hole in the ground and hid his master's money. After a long time, the master of those slaves came and settled accounts with them. Then the one who had received the five talents came towards him and brought five more talents, saying, Master, you handed over me five talents. See, I have made five more talents. His master said to him, Well done, good and trustworthy slave. You have been trustworthy in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Enter into the joy of your master. And the one with two talents came forward, saying, Master, you handed over to me two talents. See, I have made two more talents. His master said to him, Well done, good and trustworthy slave. You have been trustworthy in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Enter into the joy of your master. Then the one who received the one talent also came forward, saying, Master, I knew you were a harsh man, reaping where you did not sow, gathering where you did not scatter seeds. So I was afraid and I went and hid your talent in the ground. Here you have, this is yours. But his master replied, You wicked and lazy slave. You knew, did you, that I reap where I do not sow and gather where I do not scatter? Then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers and on return I would have received what was mine own with interest. So take the talent from him and give it to the one with ten talents. For to all those who have, more will be given, and they will have in abundance. But from those who have nothing, even what they have will be taken away. As for you, worthless slave, throw him out into the outer darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. May God add his understanding to both our readings this evening. We don't have time to unpack either of these readings really in the short space that we share in, in an evening prayer. And in a way, uh, perhaps that's a good thing because this isn't a place for sermons or, or lectures. But as I was reading through them, I, I, there was just one thing that really struck me, or actually two, I suppose. In the first reading is that God uses the most unexpected people in seeking through and making his purpose um, come to fruition. <coughs> there they are in Jericho and it's a prostitute, a woman of ill repute that helps the two spies escape. Perhaps because she's despised by the people in the, in the city, perhaps because she's been used and abused by the people in the city. But whatever it is, she gains the safety of her family by helping these two strangers, these enemy, uh, escape. God uses sometimes the least expected. And then we have this strange parable, a parable that, if I'm honest, doesn't sit very well with me. Because if God is meant to represent the master, I think we have a problem. Because this master is harsh, this master is cruel, this master um, makes his slaves um, fearful of him. But if we see this perhaps a step back, 
and draw a lesson from it, perhaps, that God doesn't equate to the master. We can see rather, <coughs> perhaps, it's a story about using what God has given us and, with his help, using it well for his glory. So, perhaps, in the first reading, it talks about how the least expected helps out. And perhaps here, um, that what we do have, we should use for God's glory. I'll let you uh, also add your own understandings to those readings uh, tonight. So we're going to listen now to a, a song. And if I can get it up on my computer, it's I Will Offer Up My Life. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you that you don't see things as the world sees them. You see everyone as unique individuals and you use sometimes the least expected people in fulfilling your will. Lord, help us to be willing to play our part, not to bury our talents or shy away when you call us, but rather be willing to be good and faithful and trustworthy servants and so bring you honour in Jesus name. Amen. So we come now um, to our New Testament song for Tuesday evening which comes from 1 John 4 7 to 11. Dear friends let us love one another for love comes from God. Everyone who, has, who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God because God is love. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. This is love, 
not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we ought to love one another. Amen. So may the Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. So we come now before the Lord, lifting up our friends and relatives who are facing illness and emotional crisis, and the situations and the people who are on our heart tonight. We continue to pray for a peaceful resolution in the situation between the occupied Palestinian territories and Israel in Ukraine. South Sudan, Myanmar, Yemen, Afghanistan and other zones of conflict and other places of violence and humanitarian disasters in the world. We ask Lord for the resources and the restoration and peace. Lord in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for those who have asked for prayer. We continue to pray for Chris Willis, our administrator and office manager at the East Midlands Synod, following her surgery. For Elaine Dre, the secretary of our former Ermin URC, in her pain and anxiety, she awaits surgery. For June Pevy. For Graham Garbell, as he, return, as he continues to recover after surgery. For the Reverend Caroline Andrews. For Roger Allen and for the Reverend Ruth Allen in her care and concern for him. With Alison for her parents, the Reverend Brian Russell and Dorothy Russell. For Barbara Turner of Holly Moorside URC as she waits surgery. For the Reverend Helen Wakefield Carr. For the Reverend Liz Adams. For the Reverend Hamish Temple. For Jean and the Reverend Brian Schenk in his care and concern for her. For the Reverend Graham and Vera Maskery. For Father Andy, Moynia's parish priest. With Uncatea for her friend Baye. And for Kelly in his journey of recovery. And for Laverne in her care and concern for him. With the Reverend Claire and Reverend Brian Davison for Susie, their daughter. <coughs> for Cheryl and for Prince and the family in their ongoing care of her. With Andy for Mike, his dad, and for Liz and Ruth in their ongoing care of him. And for John and for Irene as she continues to look after him. For Margaret Davis, the secretary of our former URC Rose Hill, who's very poorly. And with Basil and Grace for a car back home from hospital. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for those who grieve, especially for those who grieve for the Reverend, uh, for Don Buxton, and especially the Reverend Maureen Buxton. We pray for all those who grieve the passing of loved ones. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God is the ultimate source of comfort and healing and strength. Lord, may your loving presence surround all mentioned and those known to us, providing solace in a time of distress. Grant them courage to face their challenges and the resilience to overcome adversity. May your healing touch be upon all those who are suffering physically bringing restoration and renewal. For those grappling with emotional turmoil, we ask for your presence that surpasses understanding and a sense of hope that is brighter even than the darkest moments, so that they may feel your love, experience your peace and find comfort in the knowledge that they are not alone. We pray for the unity of the church in its witness and proclamation of the gospel, and especially tonight, we pray for the United Reformed Churches and our ecumenical partners in Leicestershire. May they shine, Lord, in the darkness. Lord, 
in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Rejoicing in the presence of God here among us, as our Saviour taught us, we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from a time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day has now passed. As the night watch looks for the morning, so we look for you, O Christ. May the Lord bless us and watch over us. May the Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious unto us. May the Lord look kindly upon us and give us peace. Amen. So good night and God bless.